Hong Kong has announced it will cull 2,000 hamsters after several tested positive for COVID at a pet store where an infected employee was working. The city will also stop the sale of hamsters and the import of small mammals, according to officials from the Agriculture, Fisheries, and Conservation Department. The move came after the pet shop employee tested positive for the Delta variant on Monday. Dot. If you own a hamster, you should keep your hamsters at home, do not take them out, said Department Director Lung SIU Phi at a news conference. Owners should observe good personal hygiene, and after you have been in contact with animals and their food, you should wash your hands. Do not kiss your pets, he added. Authorities have acknowledged that there is no evidence that pets can transmit the coronavirus to humans. But as a precautionary measure, customers who purchased hamsters from the affected store after January 7th will be traced and be subject to mandatory quarantine. They must also hand over their hamsters to authorities to be put down. Authorities said that all pet stores selling hamsters in Hong Kong must cease operations and that around 2,000 small mammals, including hamsters and chinchillas, will be culled in a humane manner. Customers who bought hamsters in Hong Kong from December 22nd will also be subject to mandatory testing and are urged not to go into the community until their tests have returned negative. Advertisement If their hamsters test positive, they will be subject to quarantine. For now, authorities said they would not rule out transmission between human and animals. Separately, Hong Kong police have arrested two former flight attendants for allegedly leaving their homes when they should have been in isolation for possible coronavirus infections, which were later confirmed. The two arrived from the U.S. on December 24 and 25. While in medical surveillance, they had conducted unnecessary activities, according to a government statement posted late Monday. While the statement did not name their employer, the arrests came after flagship carrier Cathay Pacific said it had fired two crew members for breaching coronavirus protocols. Both later tested positive for the Omicron variant. Cathay previously said the actions of the crew who had broken coronavirus protocols was extremely disappointing and apologized for the disruption. The company had to cut back on flights, both passenger and cargo, in January amid tightened virus curves. The duo have been released on bail and will have their case heard in court on February 9. If convicted of violating anti-epidemic regulations, they could face up to six months imprisonment and a fine of up to 5,000 Hong Kong dollars. 470 pounds. Hong Kong has
has been grappling with a local Omicron outbreak trace to several Cathay Pacific crew members who had dined at bars and restaurants across the city before later testing positive for the Omicron variant. Previously in Hong Kong, certain Air and Sea crew members could isolate at home under certain quarantine exemptions. Regulations tightened December 31st require crew members to isolate in a designated quarantine hotel for about a week to safeguard public health.